What's going on, Z Nation, and welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zaid, here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as it concerns, um, you know, coaching and potential uh, coach who could potentially be a coach uh, for the Los Angeles Lakers next year once uh, Luke Walton is fired from the Los Angeles Lakers at the end of the season. But before anything, like always, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. Now, as of as of today, uh, I just got like the notifications uh, from Bleacher Report and you know um, Adrian Jornowski of ESPN on Twitter, basically saying that the Los Angeles Lakers have serious interest in Jason Kidd as the potential top candidate for the Lakers head coaching job once Luke Walton is fired at the end of the season. Now, there's no question about it. Luke Walton is out of Los Angeles. Okay, He's going to be gone as the head coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. Potentially, he's going to be coaching uh, UCLA um, you know, once um, you know, that, that once the end of the season is over, sorry, uh, once the season is over for uh, Luke Walton, and um, obviously the uh, the top candidates that most people are, most teams really are really looking at that could potentially be a a game changer is potentially you know uh, is you know a couple of people like um, Jason Kidd, obviously. And Tyron Lue, um, Mark Jackson, which, by the way, I'm a huge fan of his uh, his work, you know, during his times, uh, you know, with the Warriors, how he basically coached the team to the best of his ability. And I always felt that once he got fired, uh, I was very surprised that no team in the NBA picked him up as that uh, type of head coach who could have, uh, you know, basically changed the uh any team basically in the NBA honestly because he was that main focal point of the Warriors of their success once um, you know once he got fired so uh, me personally I think he just has a much better uh, you know you know resume as a head coach for in the NBA but uh, obviously the Lakers do have interest in Jason Kidd I was the type of uh people out there you know basically saying that you know Jason Kidd he could have a much better chance of landing a job in the NBA and especially with a team like the Los Angeles Lakers and I personally welcome the idea some people are not really liking that idea of having Jason Kidd coach the Los Angeles Lakers and I just saw like a comment uh, maybe earlier about just basically the Lakers sign Jason Kidd as the new head coach for uh, the Los Angeles Lakers, it's just basically they're signing the same person, and that person is Jason. No, sorry, uh, uh, Luke Walton. So it's basically the same coach, but I don't really see that because during his times with the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks, he did show some success. Okay, the guy, I don't know for the past maybe four, maybe six seasons as a as a coach in the NBA, he reached the playoffs. Okay, the guy has has a good resume under his belt. I believe he only lost maybe 180, 186 to 190 as a record as a coach. So, uh, judging by his uh, resume and you know how he coached, uh, you know, for these past maybe six seasons or maybe I believe it was maybe five or six seasons in the NBA, really shows that he can coach. And you know, with the the speculations of him, you know, potentially. Uh, coaching the Lakers, he could potentially change this team around. And plus, having somebody on the team like LeBron James and you know these young players, including like uh, um, you know potential uh, potential players like Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, who are who are very talented guys, including Lonzo Ball, who draw into comparison of Jason Kidd, he could potentially you know coach somebody like Lonzo Ball to basically be that top point guard that he once was during his times in the NBA because you know guys let's make no arguments whatsoever Jason Kidd is basically one of the greatest uh, point guards of all time okay the guy has shown a lot of uh, potential and he was he's an all-star he's a champion and obviously he just brought a lot to the table as a player and he, he was even that 
sometimes, you know, as a player, he was that sort of a player's coach at times. And, uh, you know, he just shows a lot of promise, honestly. And I kind of see him, you know, potentially, cho- you know, coaching the this Lakers team once uh, once uh, Luke Walton is gone. And I can honestly see that happening. I mean, he's basically being in the top contender for the co- for the coaching job. Now, I know some of you all might be thinking we should have Mark Jackson. And like I said in the beginning, I'm a fan of Mark Jackson. Okay, the guy shows a lot of pro- uh a lot of promise and has a coaching experience and you know you saw what he did with the uh the Golden State Warriors uh you know in the beginning but then once he got fired uh Steve Kerr, you know, obviously uh just he was just a better contender uh candidate for the job and look where the like uh, the uh, the Warriors are at right now so uh obviously Mark Jackson if somehow he's if he's in the uh conversation of the top contenders um i hope the you know the lakers will look at him and see some interest in him if there's a potential um uh, hiring of mark jackson so that's that's a couple of players i i mean okay here's the thing guys okay hold on let me give you guys my top uh you know contenders for the laker job okay obviously you know, Jason Kidd is one of them. Mark Jackson, okay. Tyron Lue, who has a history with the Lakers, so and plus with LeBron James. So obviously, having somebody like him joining the Lakers would uh, help. You know, the Lakers' chances of being coached well, and including uh, you know, coaching somebody like LeBron James. So uh, Tyron Lue is part of that list. Uh, here's another guy who. Some of you might be not uh, looking very closely at, but somebody like Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw, during that time when Luke Walton got suspended, uh, no, not suspended, uh, he got uh, ejected during a game. I forgot what it was, but uh, he got ejected and just basically Jason Kidd, no, uh, Brian Shaw inserted himself as that interim uh, head coach during like maybe the third and fourth quarter. And you could just really tell he and managed the opportunity to coach this team very well during those uh t- i believe it was like maybe third and fourth quarter of of a game and just really took it over as being an experienced uh assistant coach but at the end, same time he does have experience under his belt as being the head coach for the Denver Nuggets at the time and you know it was unsuccessful but you know he does have coaching experience and you know Plus, being a Laker himself and learning under the great uh, Zen master of, of Phil Jackson, and you know, it, you know, there's just that there's that opportunity that maybe the Lakers might be looking for a coach, and there's probably one under their noses, and that is Brian Shaw. So that's that one other. Uh, I call him maybe a wild card. To be honest, he's in maybe my top four, top three for a contender for uh, the head coaching job uh, once Luke Walton leaves. So keep an eye on him. Uh, if somehow a coach does get hired and it's not Brian Shaw, I consider that coach to hire uh, Brian Shaw as that assistant coach. I mean, you should really have him on your coaching staff because he will bring a lot of uh, energy. And plus, the Lakers players, let's not deny, they do love Brian Shaw. So having somebody like him uh, either coach the team or being on the team uh, on the coaching staff would really be a, a huge, um, a huge deal for um, for the Lakers. And uh, just somebody like him could be in the conversation as the head coach for the Lakers. Uh, just keep that in consideration. Uh, I'm probably missing somebody else, but those four coaches for the Lakers is probably going to be on the on the list for the Lakers as a replacement for Luke Walton and uh and guys let me just say this about Luke Walton okay even though he didn't have a good three seasons uh successful seasons with the um with the Lakers uh, let's just be clear here Luke Walton does know how to coach let's not deny it okay the guy knows how to coach and there's sometimes uh, throughout uh, his three years with the Lakers, he did show some promise. And we should also consider that to say that, you know what, 
look what the Lakers had in front of him. Okay, he, he had to work what he had. And the Lakers, the young Lakers, they're still young. Okay, they are still developing as players. And plus, you know, during his times with, uh, you know, with the uh, with Mitch Kupchak and Jim Buss, he just had to deal what he had in front of him. And I guarantee you guys, if somehow, you know, there was other great players who, um, who, who, who were on the Lakers team, I guarantee you, it would have been a different situation, and we could possibly say that, you know what, Luke Walton is the coach for L.A. He's the coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. But unfortunately, you know, it's not, it isn't the case. And uh, obviously, we just have to move on and see a much better experienced coach and could potentially turn this team around next season, bring in uh, better chemistry to the team, and just really just reborn the Los Angeles Lakers uh next season honestly because the chemistry of the team has really uh tarnished you know and plus you know Luke Wallen even though what was what what he had in front of him the the chemistry of of under him really fell apart and just honestly we just need a new change uh the head coaching job and I hope those top four contenders you know Jason Kidd um Brian Shaw, Mark Jackson, Tyron Liu, those certain uh, contenders would fit well for this Lakers team, including somebody with our with our young core and with LeBron James on that team. So I could hope that something will change out of that. So please, uh, guys, comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Uh, and please, guys, give me your thoughts about who should be the head coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, do you guys agree with my list, or is there somebody that I'm just not uh, – uh, thinking on top of my head who could be a huge contender for uh, the head coaching job. I mean, please, guys, the comment section is for you to give me your thoughts and opinions. I really appreciate your opinions in the comment section down below because you guys just know your Lakers and you guys know a Laker talk. And just honestly, I love your feedback when it comes to the Lakers. So uh, please, guys, uh, comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers! Peace.